Hey, get back here. So a ton of things happening in the Mutt world. Once again, we're going to go over, got a list written out, everything from diamonds to team of the week, the house rules, which I think will be the bulk of my talk today on uh, some of, we'll say issues in Madden right now. And uh, there may be some coin making methods of the week, but this is the, this is the market Monday. So we're not going to do too much on that team diamonds right now. I'm just going to hit, we're going to talk about more of that tonight in market Monday. Team Diamonds themselves are on their way. We know that. Stock up on golds, low, high, low elites is what they were last year. We expect the overalls to be a little higher this year, so maybe some higher overall cards this year versus last year. And we'll break it down more tonight for Team Diamonds. Um, I will say I've got a pretty stacked binder because I've been saving these quick sells. And these quick sells, you know, from wins, losses, whatever random stuff. We're going to go through and see how much... We've gotten over, I think, the last few weeks. It's been, it's been a little bit something. I guess I can quick sell that one. I don't know what that one quick sells for. But we'll see how many coins we've earned off this. And, you know, I don't know. Getting rid of a lot of these quick sells out of, like, weekend league rewards instead of packs has kind of angered a lot of people. I know that was the way in previous years they kind of, like, quieted us down from the bad pack rewards from weekend league. You know, people put in 25 games of blood, sweat, and tears into this. And to only get cards that are, like, low gold, silvers... It kind of feels like, what's the point, right? What, what, what's, oh, only, only 100 at once. All right, so out of the 100, we get 783,000 coins. Let's go through and quick sell some more. Um, there's one, there's one, there's one. I don't know what these ones quick sell for. Also, I got some, I got some players too. Now, in previous years, they had like coin amount, right? I don't know if there's, is there coin ones this year? Doesn't really look like coin ones this year like they were in previous years. So we just got to go through and uh find it this way we got miles garrett we got lucky pulled him out of a uh a topper and i think there's one other one that we got lucky pulling him out of a random pack joe tooney uh wait i can't oh yeah here it is another 187 so a little shy of a million coins generated from that little quick sell and some binder space to keep getting ready for diamonds as i'm trying to acquire every single gold in the game low elite uh we'll work on this week so with that done, with that sweet, I love that quick sell, that feeling. Uh, team of the week, I did end up putting out a, uh, I guess a comment, a question on the uh, uh, channel here. So go ahead and take a look at that, answer that there. Who's getting team of the week? I said, you know, Henry earned it, Honey Badger. I think like, you know, Tyler make a good point. Henry deserves a mass, but I hate playing weekly against people just air truck nonstop. Air truck is still in the game, second year in it. Um, it is, it is annoying. Henry's always falling forward. It's awful. It makes for, you know, terrible gameplay. Uh, Cooper could get one too. Kirk Cousin, of course. So there's a few different, uh, three sacks. Kendrick. Yeah. So a lot of different options for team of the week this week. We'll see who they end up going with. But yeah, maybe Henry gets either the master or the, uh, plus one, um, Brady. Henning. Yeah. So a lot of good choices out there so go ahead and answer that if you want to give your opinion on it all right i want to talk about today as my main issue is kind of what we've seen over the weekend and ea's response to house rules especially in next gen current gen this isn't a problem because there's no favorite plays saved there and it just goes to show more of what ea's priorities are and it's it's very frustrating from a consumer standpoint that basically a game mode's become unplayable. This tug of war is basically people punting the ball back and forth to each other and then kicking a field goal because they've saved the player and their favorites, right? And and then EA's like, you know what? Go ahead, let it let it go all weekend. Unplayable like, right? And it, it's it's literally a harming their player base that is trying to have fun in their game, the enjoyment. And EA's like, you know what? It's the weekend. We're gonna sleep. And they have. And it's just I cannot tell them any more than I already do what kind of like bad PR and precedence, not precedence, but PR and, 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 you know, kind of message you're sending to the player base where you're like, you know what? Your, your experience is ruined. We don't care. All right. We're going to let it go. Maybe it's too hard to turn off the favorites or special teams for the tug of war. We'll just let it play out and say, uh, let them eat cake. Whereas, you know, when we get a coin loophole, within hours, it's dead at 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, whatever it was, East Coast, wherever they're, they're awake. It, they literally patched it the middle of the night. They, they just were on fire. They raced into the office, booted up, make sure to fix it, and took it down. And you're like, okay, well, I can see the arguments in the comment section. Like, coin loopholes could destroy the economy. 
that's true okay there is that option it didn't look like it was going to but it could right the potentially whereas like what does this destroy just our experience for a while right they're like you know what the players are ruining it let them ruin it for themselves but what about the xp method whose experience was the xp where we got 400 xp instead of 100 for completing a solo literally ruining nobody's experience that doesn't affect a single other player it only ruins ea's experience of making us grind more for levels and so like when they do things like that and they patched that within a couple hours of us finding a, 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 a challenge where we can grind XP a little faster by doing literally the most boring, monotonous thing in the world by throwing touch passes in overtime. It, it just blows my mind why they keep doing things like this. Why they keep solving those issues within like a snap of a finger. When there's been so many other issues with the game that have lingered for years. Remember the compare screen bug all of last year? They finally fixed it year over year. Like, why aren't they waking up at 2 a.m. to do those things? Why aren't they putting the extra hours to fix that? I feel like they don't do anything except put out cards at all, right? The changes to the game. They, they, they just they break things when they try to introduce it, like, right? Like the big three innovations this year was stats on cards which we broke for a long time some people said they're still broken on them but i think it's back uh let me take a look at like zach wilson for example i think it's back now right doesn't work at current job but i think it does look back right uh wait, wait, wait let's go here head to head yeah it looks like it's back now okay so wow i throw a lot of interceptions 12 interceptions and how many and 2400 passing yards yikes 12 29 to 12 not that great but anyways, like that's finally back, right? It was gone for like a month plus. And then we just had our halftime adjustments taken out because there was bugs with that, right? And then the other innovation this year, which actually I don't even remember off the top of my head now. What was the innovation? That stuff's from last year. Halftime adjustments, stats, and one other thing. Oh, oh, and, and speed chemistries. And chemistry systems. This is trash because they messed it up too. They added speed onto these strat cards. The strat cards are basically not strat cards at all. There's no strategy. You just go get the speed for your DBs and your wide receivers and you're done with it. Right? They added a fifth spot. Again, no strategy there. Literally, there's no choices. You have to go speed. It's like, but what if I add one extra block shit? Will my guys block shit? Fa no. Speed. So it, it's, it's disgusting to me. The innovations this year have been done so poorly and so broke. And then the, for years, we've had these quality of asked for these quality of life features. And instead of they spend their time fixing things that don't harm anybody, instead of fixing things that would help their community, that would give us a more enjoyable experience, then we could tell our friends, hey, man, Madden's not bad this year. Right? Don't you think you want that word of mouth? Right? Like, you're like, oh, and comments like, oh, what, what quality of life features got Fox? I, I couldn't imagine any of them. All right? I just wrote down a couple of them, right? The binder changes. Why do we still only get 1,700 items if you have mutt rewards? Or otherwise, you're stuck at 1,200, right? Why are we not going the MLB The Show style where I can get every single card in the game and it lays it out beautifully and I can get as many as I want? Seems so easy. Auction house changes. Why is the auction house still like a bad eBay system? Why isn't it a bid-ask system? It's awful in the way it is right now, right? Why are, why are our defensive teams still gone like uh, these old positions? Why is it not edge versus interior Versus coverage linebackers. Switch it around for 3-4 four versus 4-3. Four, no sense to me. Some guys are, are listed at free safety. That should be strong safety. Reverse. This guy should probably be a linebacker. Linebackers don't jump, but that's the gameplay team. Like, why can't we change the numbers on the cards for team players that have had multiple numbers? Our formation subs. Why isn't that? That's even in, that's even in franchise. The franchise community is rebelling against franchise, but they still got more features than the Mutt community has. Right? Where are custom audible saves? Like these simple things, these quality life features that have been out there for a year, low-hanging fruit. They have refused to devote any time to fixing that and to helping us. But instead, they, they fix and devote their time to like XP glitches. And it just sends the wrong message to the community, okay? It's, it's very frustrating to play it when it feels like every time something nice happens to us, EA says, no, we don't want that to happen to you. Remember all pro packs last year where everybody loved when all pro packs came out? They doubled the price of them this year. 
Said you were having fun? No, you're not going to have fun anymore. It's just... It, it, it feels like they're sending us a message that they hate us. And that's the problem. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, uh, Market Monday tonight. Always check out the Gap Pack method. But uh, otherwise, we'll see you on stream today for film review. Please like the video if you liked it. If you, if you thought I, I, I did a bad job, go ahead and dislike it. Let me know why. Otherwise, please sub the channel. I'm going for 100K this year. I'm going to try to make it. We're all going to make it. All right, boys. See you in a bit over on Twitch.